To an episode of Geek Lunch Me. I'm your host Chris. As usual, I thought in this episode we would take a look at the upcoming TV series Blade Runner 2099. There's been a few news items popping up about it. I thought we'd put it all together and have a look, see where it currently stands. Don't forget, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Helps us out a great deal. Helps the video get seen by a lot more people. And if you've not already subscribed, why not smash that subscribe button? We'd love to have you as a subscriber here at the channel. Now, as geeks, we hold Blade Runner near and dear to our hearts, but I thought I'd just do a quick recap just in case there's anyone watching who just needs a quick refresher. So the original Blade Runner movie was released in 1982, directed by Ridley Scott, based on the book by Philip K. Dick. And it stars Harrison Ford as Rick Deckard, a Blade Runner, uh, which is a sort of special division of the police force who hunt down replicants, artificial humans uh, who have been created to sort of do all the, all the work that humans don't want to do in the future. Now, it wasn't very successful on its original release, but in the years that have followed, it's become you know, this huge cult thing and is now widely regarded as one of the greatest science fiction films ever made. And it pretty much set a template for all these sort of dystopian future movies uh, that followed. And then in 2017, we got the sequel Blade Runner 2049, directed by Denis Villeneuve, who's since gone on uh, to do Dune, Parts 1, Part 2. And Ryan Gosling was brought on board as Blade Runner K, and we get to catch up with Deckard and Rachel and see what's been happening with them. And then in 2021, we got the Blade Runner Black Lotus animated series uh, where we get to follow Elle, I think it's in uh, 2032, I think. And Elle is a girl who has no memories, and we watch as she gets to put together uh, the puzzle of her past. And so this brings us up to Blade Runner 2099. It was originally announced uh, by Amazon uh, two years ago now. But of course, with the strikes in Hollywood last year, it's taken a couple of years to get to the point where it's just starting uh, to film. And the best news recently is, of course, that Michelle Yeoh uh, will be in the starring role. Yeoh is, of course, an incredible actress, probably best known for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and of course for winning uh, the Academy Award for her role in Everything Everywhere All at Once a couple of years ago. As I said, it's Amazon that's producing the show, and the showrunner is uh, Silke Louisa, uh, who's best known for Halo and Shining Girls. And plus, Ridley Scott is back on board uh, this time in a producing role. Also, it's great to hear that Jonathan uh, Van Tuleken is uh, directing at least uh, the first episode. His name may be familiar as he directed uh, some of the episodes of the absolutely fantastic Shogun that's recently has completed its run on uh, Disney Plus here in the UK. I thought it was an absolutely incredible series, so good to see uh, that he's been brought on board uh, Blade Runner 2099. Also great news uh, is that it's being written by Michael Green, who was the co-writer on Blade Runner 2049 and the co-creator of Blue Eyes Samurai which is a recent animated show on Netflix and was absolutely wonderful. I really recommend watching it. The animation is stunning. Uh, the story is great. It's very well written. So all that bodes well uh, for Blade Runner. And it's been reported that Blade Runner 2099 uh, starts filming uh, next month, uh, June in Prague. And then we have some location uh, filming in Spain to follow which I suspect means it'll be released uh, sometime in uh, 2025. Very little detail has been released about plot at the moment, um, so we can only speculate. Obviously, the good thing with the way they title these Blade Runner projects is we know it's set you know, 50 years after Blade Runner 2049. Over the last few years, there's been quite a few Blade Runner uh, comic books that have been published as well. This is the uh, recent one, uh, Blade Runner 2039, uh, the last issue of which uh, has come out recently. I really recommend them, and they're all a really good read, really add to the sort of uh, Blade Runner universe. And the storylines build on the themes uh, mostly from sort of Blade Runner uh, 2049, and with the whole idea of giving replicants uh, the ability uh, to reproduce, which obviously is a big plot point in that movie with uh, Deckard and Rachel um, having a child. So I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, I think it's safe to say that the, those story threads will be taken up um, by the new TV show. Do I think Harrison Ford um, will put in a cameo? Initially, I would say no. I think a few years ago, the answer would have been sort of a definite no. But you know, recently, you know, he's been doing some TV work. Of course, with it being set 50 years after the last movie, it, you know, it depends whether or not you are one of the people who think that uh, you know, Deckard uh, was a replicant. For me personally, I still think um, that he's human. I think it suits the story better. I know the director's cut of the original Blade Runner, um, I know with Gaff making the little origami unicorn um, and Deckard having the uh, the dream of the unicorn. It obviously is meant to show that you know Gaff knows what his memories are, which would indicate he's a replicant. But for me, the story makes more sense, especially then um, in the sequel um, with Rachel getting pregnant. Obviously, it could be the fact that two replicants managed to reproduce, but it's to me, in, in my head, it just seems more likely that, um, you know, that if Deckard was human, um, that there was more chance of that happening. Whether or not then this story uh, that will follow in the series will be more about whether or not um, you know, two replicants can reproduce 
uh, you know, and further their sort of you know, their species as it as it was. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. So yeah, that's pretty much everything we know about Blade Runner 2099 at the moment. As I say, starts shooting next month. So hopefully we'll get some more details. You know, some photos would be absolutely fantastic from the set. I'll keep you updated and bring you, you know, any new news uh, that we get. What do you think? Are you looking forward to a Blade Runner TV show? Do you think that Deckard is a replicant? Always uh, an argument that geeks like to have. Let me know in the comments below. So take care and until next time, eat geek and be merry.